The Empire Gymnasium is a unique work of architecture and the only one of its kind still used for competitive basketball in the state of Arkansas. The gym stands on the Umpire School campus which is located in Umpire, Arkansas. The Umpire School campus is part of the Cossata River School District and is located in the Washita Mountains region. The Umpire Gym has become a symbol of pride to people of that community. Built in 1951-52, the gymnasium is 63 years old. Abstract tile deeds and bonds transactions from the school year 1951-52 show that the North Howard County School District borrowed $25,000 for the construction of the gym. While the gym may be small compared to today's standards, the umpire gym was top-notch when it was constructed and boasted the area's first glass backboards. Former umpire principal Dwayne Taylor researched gyms around Arkansas and discovered that the umpire gym is the only gym of its kind that still holds competitive ball games. The umpire gym was unique for its time and remains so today. Deciding not to use rock in the construction, as most schools did during this time, Umpire chose a new brick design. Although we are not exactly sure when the construction began, we know it was finished by 1952 and 53. Arch Pinkerton, who was a senior in 1953, recalls more details about the building of the gym. In 1952, Wesson Construction Company of Nashville, Arkansas, began the construction of the Umpire Gym. E.C. Reader of Nashville laid the brick. The backboard was the first glass backboard in the whole area. He also recalls that the glass backboard had not been delivered in time for the first umpire junior tournament and that plywood backboards were built. Well, it was hard to find anyone still left in the community who remembered working on the gym. Former student Cheryl Keith Maxwell recalls her grandfather Fletcher Keith told her that he helped to build the gym. The Umpire Wildcat Gymnasium hosted its 63rd annual Umpire Junior Tournament this year. Perhaps the longest running tournament in the area, the community took pride in hosting this year's tournament. We decided to interview some of the coaches who came to the tournament to get their thoughts on the Umpire Gym. These interviews explain how exciting it is to play basketball in this gym and how unique the court and the building is. Not only is the gym used for basketball, but it is used for other school and community events. Awards, ceremonies, graduations, homecomings, senior nights, alumni games, peewee basketball games, fall festivals, and proms are held in this gym. Two funerals were held in the gym, including the funeral of former superintendent Don Manning. The Umpire Gymnasium is a remarkable building. Today the building looks much the same as it did when it was built. The newest addition to the gym is the concession stand and the women's bathroom. The coaches' office, bathrooms, and trophy cases and dressing rooms were added in the 1960s. Now we are entering the original gym. The double doors open up to the ticket booth located here, which is now a janitor's closet. The wall, as it is known now, is where the diehard fans stand for hours on, cheering on the team or giving the referees a little piece of their mind. This is an interesting part of the building. These panels come off and were used as storage. A few years ago, old scorebooks from the late 50s and 60s were found stored beneath these bleachers. The scorekeeper's box is original to the building. If you notice the court, you see the beauty of the wood. Many guests comment on the beauty of the floor. Notice the restraining line. These were common in older gyms. These lines allowed for the teams to throw the ball in with plenty of room. Without these lines, the person throwing the ball in had no room to step forward. Now, notice the balcony. The balcony is terrifying to some people, even today. And they may even refuse to sit in the upper level. I'm here today to interview Miss Carla Golden, our high school principal, about her experiences and memories in the umpire school and gymnasium. Uh, my dad was a principal and superintendent here for a lot of years, and he was superintendent when I was going through school. The gym has, done, has gone through several changes since it was first built, including additions, remodeling, and painting jobs. Were you going to school or teaching here when any of these changes took place, or did you contribute to those remodels? Um, Yes, 
yes and yes. <laughs> uh, when I was in elementary school here, the balcony of the gym had no metal railing. It was totally open. There was the little wooden thing that's maybe six inches tall. That was the only thing up there. And I can remember as a child, I was scared to death that I would plummet off the end of the gym. And, you know, we never had anyone fall off the top of the gym. But it was, you know, looking back now, it would have violated every safety law that's in place now. But it was, it was fine then. Um, the railing was added on sometime before I got into junior high. Uh, that was put up. For safety and the wildcat that's on the wall the wildcat and the blue board that's on the scores table uh, I painted both of those wildcats we painted uh, stuff in the coach's office oh do you remember the first time you played a ball game in the gym oh yeah yeah <laughs> I do um, and I remember my senior year we were the we coached the people teams the senior team members coached all the Pee Wee teams. So we got to not only play in the gym from seventh grade all the way through, but we got to come back and coach Pee Wee teams in that gym <laughs> and others as well. So tons of fond memories of the gym. Uh, what was your most exciting game playing in the gym? Mm. Probably in this gym, we had one rivalry in our district that uh, we beat them on our home court, and it, it was a hard-fought rivalry all the way through the years, but we won in here. And, you know, one thing that I always loved about this gym is that restraining line. So many schools were not familiar with it, and you would always gain a few turnovers based on that restraining line. Is there anything you'd like to add to the interview about the Empire Gym? Oh, it's just... That's just an icon, that umpire gym, and, you know, um, my dad's funeral was in the gym. And this year we've had so many schools that have come back. It's just been a place of pride um, for me because this year coming, you know, back to umpire three years ago to teach here, there have been a lot of changes to the gym. Like I said, that front part was added on and it was different and gave us a little more room. And to just see the pride, you know, that you teams still carry on that umpire tradition and pride. I'm here today to interview Corey Graham, head basketball coach of Mommel Stingers, about his first time, his first trip to the umpire junior tournament. Coach Graham, I understand this is your first trip to our tournament. Mm -hmm. this, the students, faculty, and staff welcome you to our school. Thank you. When this gym was built in 1951, it was the most envied gym in the area. While the gym may be small compared to the gymnasiums today, it was top notch. In fact, it was the first gym to have glass backboards in the area. Okay. Coach Graham, have you been in a gym of this style and size with the balcony and railing and restraining line? Definitely not. Um, we're used to a little bigger court, but the but the playing in a historical building like this, it's great great environment for our kids uh, and our program. So, no, I've never been in one. Me personally, as, as I've been playing, my assistant coach, nobody's been in one like this. And so, it's just different. It's something new to give our kids. Have you ever used restraining lines in regulation basketball before? Uh, no. Yeah, I figured that was something different. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Coach, do you like to add anything to the interview about the gym? Uh, we appreciate it. You know, we appreciate this, the, his, the history uh, behind the gym, behind the tournament. 63 long running years. We're looking to come back for 64. All right. Good luck in the finals tonight. Appreciate Thanks, it, Coach. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Interviewing Lakin Cowart, basketball oh, coach of Call Start River Eagles. Coach Cowart, what was your first impression of the Empire Gym? My first impression of the gym was that it was really small compared to most other gyms. Um, the floor is condensed and there's not, enough, there's not as much space as there are in other gyms. Um, the, the gym has a balcony that goes around the top and it's hard sometimes you can't really sit down. So, so sometimes when it's really crowded and there's fans and it's really loud and everything, fans, you see the fans standing up and it's just it's amazing. I play in here, it gets really loud, the crowds get into it. Um, it's really noisy, and you can't really hear the coach calling out the plays because everybody's going wild, and it's just a great, great place to play. 
Coach, would you like to add anything to the interview? Um, I'd like to say I love playing in this gym. Um, it, it's just it's an atmosphere that you want to be in, and you, you don't ever get to experience it often. And so coming here is a great place to play. All right, thank you. Today to interview Mike Jackson, head basketball coach of the Akron Tigers. As a school in the same conference, you have coached in this gym before tonight. Have you ever played in this gym? Yes, I played in seventh grade through twelfth. Have you ever used restraining lines in regulation basketball? Uh, I believe that I have this gym, and I believe Winthrop. Mm -hmm. uh, they still had the restraining lines at Winthrop, and it was the older gym, and I played in both of them, and we used restraining lines. Yes. Coach, would you like to add anything to the interview about the gyms? I just, you know, I, it's just so unique you know, with the balcony and the restraining lines. And, uh, and I, I think it really it has a, a homey feel about it, and I know that it gives you a big home court advantage when you're here. I do know that. You know, it's a little bit different because everything's so close. It throws your kids off shooting the ball a little bit, but I really enjoy coming up here and seeing it. And to me, you know, it, brings back memories of when I was a kid and playing whenever I, I come back coaching and, and I just really enjoy coming over here and seeing it. Alright, well thank you coach. Appreciate it, thank you. The interview Chance Long and Patrick Pretty, referee of and officials for tonight's tournament finals basketball game. What was your first impression or memory of being here? The noise. <laughs> the echo of it. Uh, my first impression was seventh grade. I was playing in this tournament. Uh, definitely the, the court was probably my favorite court throughout high school. Just because it's so small, we like to press and kind of help us out. Yeah. As a referee, have you ever been in, a, in another gym of this style and size with the balcony, railings, and machine room? Yes, Bush Valley. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to add to the interview about the Empire? Game? I think it's a great tradition and you should keep going as long as you can. And there's been four different people this year who have come up to me at ball games from other schools and have made comments about how they love that gym. It's such an icon, how we've kept it up so well and how it needs to be placed on some national registry. Everybody seems to just be thrilled for whatever reason this year about our gym and it really does look good. So, And I appreciate uh, Y'all's class and Miss Phoebe for taking the time to, to dig into this. It's it, it's a much needed and a much deserved fitting tribute to the gym. Uh, no. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. As you can see, this gym is an old beauty and brings just as much pleasure and excitement to the kids and community today as it did in years past.